Now, another notable hurricane, Floyd. Again, a lot of people remember this one thanks to the enormous amount of flooding that Floyd caused here in North Carolina. We always have a condition where heavy surf, we have rips that just pop up all over the beach. And we must, you know, prevent anybody from going in the water and prevent us from having to go in the water and put our lives in danger. So we just throw the red flags up for, you know, just precautionary reason. When the ports of Florida were closed down too early and people couldn't get gas, what that caused people to do even this year during Hurricane Dennis is to go buy five to ten gas cans, fill all those up, and we ran out of gas again. People know it's coming. Our problem is not making people aware of the fact that it's coming here. Everybody pretty knows that it's coming. Okay, get the latest developments from the now post-tropical storm Andrea. Hurricane specialist Dr. Greg Postel has the tropical update in just a few minutes, including the timing on the end of this seemingly relentless rain for much of the East Coast. I'll leave you with a celebration in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The town is celebrating a 75th birthday this weekend, but the ones who got the presents were the visitors. They were treated to cupcakes and a free concert. The town actually attempted to set a world record for the tallest cupcake tower. So happy birthday, Myrtle Beach. And here's the forecast for Myrtle Beach. We definitely want you to check out some time lapse video that came to us out of Myrtle Beach. Now this is such a pretty shot. You can see the sun coming up, uh, people getting out there to spend the early morning hours along the beach. That puts a lot of pep in your step for those morning workouts, doesn't it? Temperatures reaching up into the mid 50s for today, but we wear we do have a freeze warning that's going to be coming up beginning late tonight until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. But of course, if you're looking for the really cold air, all you have to do is trot a little bit further north. Well, the weather was beautiful this weekend in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for the Beach Boogie and Barbecue Festival. Plenty of food vendors were out there serving up that delicious Carolina barbecue, but it was hot out there too. Yeah, highs in the 80s all weekend. People did their best though to stay cool in the shade and they drank plenty of water. Myrtle Beach could see thunderstorms today and tomorrow, so hopefully most people already took the time out to enjoy that barbecue.